Good day everyone. Today, we're gonna be tackling all in all the history of volleyball. And before anything else, I'm Junior S. Tulaving from BCE 2 e And I will be the one who will be discussing with you. So I hope you all listen and understand and enjoy. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Narjana Omar Hassan. Uh, today I'm going to make a vlog discussion about the history of volleyball. We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me Thinking about what could have happened or what could have been Finally a face I know and that a sight to see Take my time to take your clothes off one more time maybe Acting like you don't be calling and impressing me Didn't come to see your friends, I know you came for me Like your dress but you fit better in my wrinkled tee We moved on to new with this but we got history Put my feelings all aside, don't know why to make it right Pictures popping on my mind, all these occasions Just work it out with me I don't think it hurts to give another try on it February 1895, Ballyvol invented by William J. Morgan, the director of physical education of the YMCA Holyoke. Morgan has attended the YMCA's Springfield College where he had met James Nismith, the inventor of basketball. After graduating, Morgan continued to work for the YMCA and soon took the positions of director of physical education in nearby Holyoke. Having noticed that the speed of basketball made it too ch challenging for weaker men and older athletes, Morgan set about the devising a new game drawing on basketball's original aims of being sport that could be played inside with minimal physical contact, Morgan later wrote the tennis occurred to me but this required rackets, balls, a net, and other equipment so it was eliminated. But the idea of a net seemed a good one. Naming his game Mentonet, Morgan took a year to refine the rules before staging an exhibition match. This took place at the 1896 YMCA Physical Directors Conference at Springfield. After Morgan impressed the director of the Professional Physical Education Training School, Dr. L Lothar Golick, the game received a position reception from the delegates including Dr. Arfled Halstead, who suggests renaming it to Ballyvol to better reflect the objective of the game. The two words were eventually combined to form volleyball in 1952. After the positive response to the exhibition game, Morgan continued to experiment with the rules. Firstly, by raising the height of the net and then by trying different types of balls to achieve the optimum width and speed. Sporting goals, goods Company A.G. Spaldings and Bros. eventually create a new type of ball that achieved the perfect balance he was seeking and within in just a few years, Morgan's game had began to spread around the world. Pala is four men's only itong volleyball. So since uh, nag uh, na-probe niya na Pwede rin siyang uh, for both sex, sexes in, sa mga schools uh, in the other organization. So, uh, sa ngayon, nilalaro na siya ng both uh, boys and girls, especially sa schools. 
unlike before na lalaki lang yung pwedeng maglaro. And uh, it was subsequently introduced to the other countries. So, nag-spread na siya in other countries, hindi lang sa masakusets nila laro, kundi uh, na-introduce na rin siya sa ibang countries. At umabot na nga dito sa Philippines. In the 1916, rules were issued jointly by the YMCA in the National Collegiate Athletic Association or the NCCA. Volleyball, uh, volleyball was introduced into Europe by American troops during World uh, War I when the national organizations were born. So, ang volleyball na introduced sa Europe uh, during World War I nung uh, yung mga national organization ay nabuo or naform na yung mga national uh, organizations. The Federation in International de Volleyball or FIBB uh, BB, was organized in Paris in 1947 and moved to Lausanne, uh, Switzerland in uh, 1894. The US uh, BBA was one of the 13 charter members, uh, members of the FIBB whose membership grew more than one, uh, 210 member countries by the late uh, 20th uh, century. International volleyball competition began in 1913 with the first par in, with the first par uh, games in Manila. So, ang um, international uh, volleyball competition ay nagsimula noong 1913 with the first par S countries uh, games, first par S uh, games in Manila sa Manila sa held. So, during the early 1900s and continuing until after World, uh, World War II, volleyball in Asia was played on a larger court with a lower net and uh, nine players on a, team, on a team. The FIBB sponsored World Volleyball uh, Championships for men only in uh, 1949 for both men and women in 1952 and succeeding years led to acceptance of standardized playing rules and officiating. So, yung uh, World Volleyball Compe uh, Championship ships na sponsored ng FIBB na kung saan noong 1949 ay puro lang lalaki ang pwede then uh, noong 1952 naging boys and girls na, na laro naging pwede siyang boys uh, laro ng boys and girls both boys and girls then nag uh, until the succeeding years lead to acceptance ito yung naging daan sa acceptance ng standardized playing uh, rules and officiating volleyball became an only olympic sport for both uh, men and women at the 1964 olympic games in tokyo so, itong volleyball pala ay naging uh, kauna-unahang Olympic sport uh, for both uh, men and women during the 1964 uh, Olympic Games in Tokyo. So, actually, mahaba-haba pa itong discussions but since uh, tiga-anim ang membro sa bawat uh, group, so, ito muna yung part ko. Ang continuation is yung mga kasama ko ang magko-continue. So, I hope naintindihan nyo and I hope may na-learn kayo kahit konti. So, let's uh, move on to the next uh, uh, next reporter, yung kagroup ko. So, thank you for watching. God bless.